This video is explaining the basics of how to use your Team Builder app. So when you first open it, you should see your dashboard. Okay, on your dashboard, you'll see today's workout, your workout calendar. All right, you can also get to your workout calendar once you go into your workout. All right, so if you click on today's workout, all right, you will see the week calendar at the top. Any days that have dots on them are days that you have workouts. They'll be red until you've done them. Once you start inputting data, then they'll tur turn green to alert you you have completed that workout. Upper right-hand corner, you will see the calendar. So if you click on that calendar, it'll take you to your full monthly calendars that you can scroll, scroll through. And again, anything that has a red dot means that you have a workout on that day. All right, if you click that back arrow, it'll take you back to your workout. All right, now in the, the workout portion, you'll see different icons on the left-hand side. All right, the one that's a little flames means your warm-up. The ones with the barbells mean it's a, um, a working set. Um, the one that looks like a little notepad, those are just notes. Those are important to click on, so they can be explanations. Um, uh, down that left-hand side as well, you will see letters. Okay, so if there's a letter by itself, that means you do that exercise by itself. If you see two letters, and this is very important to get, to get the proper stimulus from your workout. So, for example, here are two Bs in order. You do those as a superset. So you do a set of dumbbell incline bench and then a set of butterfly sit-ups for three rounds, okay? So make sure that is, you're paying attention to those letters. And above it is a note just saying that there is a superset alert. Okay, so if we start at the top with our warm-up, you know, click the bulletproof shoulder warm-up. Okay, it's gonna take you into exactly what you have to do. All right, and there's nothing you have to enter for this. You just have to do it. Next, at the bottom, you'll see an X or an over arrow. If you X it out, it'll take you back to the full workout. If you use the over arrow, it'll take you to your next, the next exercise or note or whatever you have in your workout. So I'm gonna X out, all right, and go to, actually, I'm gonna go to a different day here. Um, so at the beginning, we have our warm up, which is that knee ability zero. Again, nothing you have to enter. Now I'm gonna arrow over. All right, and there's a, a note just explaining what a strength endurance circuit is. All right, and then I'll arrow over again. And there is my circuit right here. Okay, so right now you may be saying, well, what am I supposed to do? If you see where it says complete for time, and there's a little down arrow, you click on it, it will give you your work that it sets that you have to do. So you'll have, in this case, 10 body weight jump squats, 10 V-ups, and then rest 30 seconds, all right? And then you'll input your time for that, for that exercise. I'm gonna X out and go back to the full workout again. All right, next you'll see superset alert. Again, if you clicked on it, it would just show you what a superset is and a lot letting you know, hey, look and, and make sure you're doing the next set as a superset. So I'll X out again and it, it should, right after it, you'll see both Bs, those are the two letters together, so they are supersets. All right, so you'll be doing dumbbell split squats and push-ups as a superset. If you click on that dumbbell split squat, all right, it'll show that you, there's the three sets that you have to do, 10 reps each. At the top, you'll see what looks like a picture that with the play sign, that is a video tutorial. So if you click on that play sign, it'll take you to a video of how to do a dumbbell split squat. Okay. And you, here's a better example where the reps are, even if you're supposed to do 10 um, and you were only able to get nine, you can change it and put in nine. Other things that you can use here, um, I'll go into push-ups. There's a thing at the top middle that says journal, all right, right below the video. If you click on that, you can type anything in there. Say it was too hard and you need to do incline push-ups or scale your push-ups somehow, you can, you can say 
next week do incline push-ups and when you go to next week you'll be able to see that note reminding you of what you have to do that's very important to help you keep on track and progressing along the lines of your workout so you're continuing to improve and not taking steps backwards so that's a great function to use one of the best features in this app that i feel because it's a huge time saver is this little clock icon in the bottom right hand corner all right what that is is your history so if you click on that when you're in any exercise it'll show you um, your history of that workout. Um, so for like push-ups, it would be maybe how many reps you've done, or if it was a weighted push-up, how much weight was on your back. Um, if it's a regular exercise, it'll show you sets, reps, and weight. So you don't have to scroll back through your other workouts trying to find that exercise and the weight that you did. You'll know exactly what to use uh, for today's workout. So that's a great feature. The top upper left-hand corner, you'll see the three lines. You can click that. It can take you back to your bash dashboard, your journal, and put your max and PRs. We have a separate uh, video on that. If your coach is sending you documents or links, you can put that in there. You can get back to your workout calendar and even connect any um, watches that you have that will help record data that you want. So if I click my dashboard, it should take me back to my original dashboard where I started. And those are the basics of how to use TeamBuilder.